pop quiz. Who came first, the structuralists or the functionalists? And what exactly were they trying to figure out? In this video, we'll break down two of psychology's earliest theories and how they continue to shape our understanding of the mind today. First up, the theory that tried to break the mind into parts. If you're picturing scientists dissecting thoughts like puzzle pieces, you're thinking of structuralism. Let's dive in. Structuralism was founded by Wilhelm Wundt and later advanced by Edward Titchener. Their goal? Break down conscious experience into its most basic parts, like sensations, images, and feelings. They believed that to understand the mind, we had to first understand the building blocks of thought, their tool of choice, introspection. Trained volunteers reported exactly what they felt when they saw a light or heard a tone. By comparing reports, Wundt hoped to chart the mind's building blocks, but introspection had a flaw. People are unreliable reporters. Describe the same tone twice and you'll hear two stories. Psychology needed a new angle. Across the Atlantic, Harvard professor William James asked a different question. Instead of the mind's parts, what is its function? James argued, the mind evolved to help us adapt. This view, functionalism. Functionalism focused on the purpose of consciousness, how mental processes help us adapt, survive, and thrive in the real world. James described consciousness as a stream, fluid and ever-changing, not easily broken into pieces. Functionalists wanted to understand how this stream helped people function. Now, you've mapped both frameworks. Curious how much you're remembering? Your personalized practice test, flashcard set, and study guide are all waiting for you. Just tap the link now and keep watching. Future you will thank you. So while structuralists dissected consciousness, functionalists watched it in action. One searched for mental atoms, the other for practical outcomes like problem solving or avoiding danger. Quick recap. Once structuralism tried to catalog the mind's ingredients, while James's functionalism explored its evolutionary purpose, both approaches still echo in everything from brain imaging to user experience research. Two schools, two very different questions. Together, these rival schools paved the way for today's cognitive neuroscience and applied psychology. Even if their data were imperfect, their questions launched a scientific revolution. Ready to quiz yourself with the content covered in this video? Check out the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet content made just for you.